Today we will be talking about the workhorse of the kitchen, the amazing, resilient and versatile cast iron pan. Who say you need to go to a fancy restaurant just to eat a good, tasty, juicy steak? Today I'm gonna to show you how to make one of the best steaks in your life in a very simple and easy way. All you need is the mighty cast iron skillet. And why a cast iron skillet, you might ask? There are many reasons why we use and promote the usage of the cast iron skillets, and here are a few. And the first benefit of using one of these babies is cost. You can purchase a good quality skillet at almost any home goods stores at about 15 to 20 bucks, making them the most cost-effective way to take the quality of your dishes from good to great without breaking the bank. I'm leaving a few links down there in the description where you can find some good skillets at a really good price. The second benefit will be versatility. A cast iron skillet can be used for so many things, including frying, broiling, roasting, braising, anything you can imagine, and more. The more seasoned your cast iron is, the more flavor it's gonna give to anything you are cooking. Durability. A cast iron skillet is a seriously heavy-duty kitchen equipment that will last you forever. They are almost indestructible. Heat retention. Cast iron cookware is so much in the heating properties and capacities it has. That means that it gets extremely hot and it stays extremely hot for a long time. And that is important for so many reasons, but especially when we are searing steaks. We need that heat in there so we can get that beautiful crispy char. Another one, and this is a good one, health. Cast iron offers health benefits beyond the nutritional value of the food it cooks. If you have an iron deficiency, as close to 10 million people in the US do, you might consider start cooking more with your cast iron pan. As the metal heats up, small amounts of iron leach out and enrich your food. The iron you get is definitely not enough to complement your diet, but it's a nice bonus if you're looking for more ways to sneak the nutrients into your meals. Love Flavors. It is like a grill. For us city folks, having a jar is not always an option. Because you can get your pan really, really hot, it can effectively be used as a grill and get your steaks really close to those flavors the charcoal grill will give you. There are so many myths about a cast iron skillet that can overwhelm my resolute mind into buying something else instead, and here are some of them. The first myth, cast iron are difficult to maintain. Cast irons are tough as nails. There is a reason why there is 75-year-old cast iron pans kicking around in jar cells and antique shops. It is built to last, and it will last for a long time. Most of the new pans you can buy today, they come already pre-seasoned, which means the hard part is already done and you can start cooking on them right away. Second myth, cast iron heat evenly. Actually, cast iron is not the best for heating evenly. The main advantage is that cast iron has a really high volumetric heat capacity, which means once it is hot, stays hot. The heat retention of these materials is almost superior to any cookware you might have at home, and that, guys, is searing gold. Third myth, cast iron can get as non-stick as any other non-stick pan out there. A well-seasoned cast iron pan could be really, really, really non-stick, to the point that you can fry an egg on it with no problem. But the truth is, it will never get even close to a non-stick material like the flan. Myth number four, cast iron cannot be cleaned with soap. The reality is that seasoning your pan is not a thin layer of oil. It's a thin layer of polymerized oil, which is a very different thing. In a well-seasoned cast iron pan, one that has been rubbed with oil and heated repeatedly, the oil has already broken down into a plastic-like substance, and it has bonded with the surface of the metal. And as the material is no longer actually oil, soap will not affect it. Myth number five, never use any metal utensils in your cast iron skillet. Here we apply what we say in the previous point. The seasoning in the cast iron is remarkably resilient. It is not just a layer of oil stuck in the surface. It is actually a chemical substance bonded to the metal. Use any tool you have at your disposal and you're gonna be perfectly okay. Myth number six, modern cast iron are exactly the same as the old cast irons. It's the same material after all. And yes, the material might be the same, but the production methods are not. In the old days, cast iron pans were produced by casting in sand molds and then polish the surface until it's smooth. But in the 1950s, the production scaled up and it was a streamlined and the final polish step was dropped from the process. The result 
and modern cast iron retain that bumpy surface. The reality is that the difference is smaller than you think. But remember, your modern cast iron will never be as non-stick as the old stuff. Myth number seven, never cook any acidic food in your cast iron. In a well-seasoned cast iron pan, the food in the pan never comes in contact with the metal itself. So in a perfect world, that should not be a problem. But we are not in a perfect world and you should avoid long simmery acidic things, particularly tomato sauce. On the other hand, a little bit of acid is not going to hurt it. A short simmer will not harm your food, your pan, or your health in any way. Now with all that says, let's cook this beautiful steak that we have here. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna season it. You don't need a lot of fancy flavors to make a meat taste amazing. In fact, I only use sea salt and pepper on my meats and sometimes a little bit of garlic powder and the results always amaze me. Never use regular table salt on your steaks as it breaks down really fast and can give your steak a briny, funky flavor. Once my steak is ready, I'm gonna put it to rest on the side and I'm gonna start preparing something that we call a boar sauce. If you've never done something like this, you should, because this will complement the flavors of your steak a lot. I'm gonna leave the whole recipe or the mix down there in the description and you guys can check it out. The mix is really simple and all these vegetables should be available in any store near you. In this case, I'm cutting two different kinds of jalapeno, the green and the red. I'm cutting three shallots, a little bit of sage leaves, and a little bit of chives. We're gonna combine all that with a little bit of olive oil and that's gonna be it. As I told you many times before, I like to rest my steaks for about 30 minutes so I can get the best crust out of it and I allow that salt to penetrate the meat as much as I can. And this is a little collection of what I'm gonna be adding to the pan once I have my meat seared. Main key to a delicious steak is heat, and that's something a cast iron pan can deliver. You will want to preheat your pan over high heat for at least five minutes, or until you consider it to be really hot. Then just pat your steak dry and add a little bit of salt to the bottom of the skillet. Now you're ready to sear. We will place the steak on the skillet on one side and cook it until it's easily moved. This will take about three minutes. Once you start playing with it and it's easily moved, Carefully flip the steak and add your butter, rosemary, and garlic to it. And immediately after the butter is melted, get a spoon and start showering the steak with it. At this point, it's okay to move the rosemary and garlic on top of the steak and allow the oil of all the spices get into the steak. And normally you will spend about three minutes doing this. And after the bottom of your steak look as crispy as you want it to be, remove it from the pan. But the steak is not ready yet. Remember, now we're gonna let it rest for 10 minutes. Ninja, I got this beautiful steak for you to give it a try, and I created something that is called a boar sauce. It um, smells delicious. Smells good, guys. Yeah, we gotta hurry up, the rain is coming. Rain is <laughs> coming, it's hot as hell, the humidity levels here, I don't even know what is it anymore, it's crazy. Out of control. Man, <laughs> but I think you're gonna love this one. Oh baby. yes, I love it, the smell of it, I can't wait, let's do it. You see when I cut that thing, the colors? Let's try it, let's try it, let's try it. Let's go, Miss Ninja. Let me cut mm -hmm. a little piece for you. Oh my God, my mouth is watering. Mm, look at all those. Ah, man, the flavor in this thing is awesome. All right, guys, let's go with this one. Let's go. Oh my God, this is so good. <laughs> when the vegetables mm. hit your mouth and the combination of the beef flavor wow. and the fat and everything, perfect. I mm. love it. Hold I on, really I just got it. hit by the by the by the chili. Oh my goodness! But it's really good. Mm. Love wow. the chili. If you don't have a grill, if you don't have a place to go and grill your stuff, just get on a skillet. It's yep. a cast iron skillet, okay? Not any skillet. A cast iron skillet, and you're gonna have a perfect steak like this one. And you can combine and make your sauces and do all crazy, incredible things about it. It's amazing. It tastes great. The only thing that is missing here is. The charcoal flavor. The charcoal flavor. <laughs> but oh well. But, but you can have all that butter flavor, 
all those garlic oils with the meat and then you can combine with some vegetables like we did here with some chilies and some other stuff and and you get Love everything it. everything the way it should be guys there we go if you learn to do this thing i guarantee you're not gonna go to any of those fancy restaurants anymore <laughs> well guys let me tell you something this steak is the Lectures, brother and sisters and if we made you hungry please hit us with a like a lot of them subscribe to the channel share with your friends and family and don't forget to leave your comments down there because man this is something else yes it is that's all for today but remember that i love you mm, we love you thanks for watching and see you on the next one